Hi everybody, it's Kevin Raybird. I'm back with you today for another daily chat. And today we're talking about film. Um, essentially the title is, I just don't get it. So um, yesterday I went out to lunch with a friend and we got to be talking about um, where things are in the industry, both digitally and what the uh, craze is with so many people going back to analog film. I just don't get it. I really just don't get it. You know, Peter McKinnon, very well-known photographer, does a great YouTube channel. I respect him as a photographer. Basically, he's given up digital and gone back to film. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I've spent everything I could to move from film and analog to digital and have the best systems possible to take the best pictures possible. And I'm seeing so many people just give it back up and go back to analog and film. Now look, I don't have anything against however you do your photography. As long as you get the pictures you want and you're enjoying yourself. You know, I even went downstairs just to see if I was wrong and picked up one of my old Nikon F3s uh, and just said, yep, yeah, I remember it. Don't want it. So anyway, I did a little research and the, the cost of film is one of the, the factors that I look at and saying, why well, do film when you can do digital? Particularly, it costs 24 to $27 not only for a roll of film and processing and scanning. So depending on how you go, for example, a 35 millimeter Portra 400 five pack is $74.95. That's a lot of money when you can do digital and it costs you nothing for images going on your uh, storage card. A uh, pro pack of 120, which is five rolls, that's $12 a roll or $61.95 per five pack. It's a little ridiculous. And then you gotta take it to a lab and it's got to be developed, and it's got to be scanned. You've got no way to know that you've got the image. You've got no histogram to tell you you've got the right exposure. You have nothing that shows that you have the right focus. You know, in days from now, when you finally get the stuff back, hopefully everything worked right, and you might actually have something. But here's the irony of it, in my opinion. You go and you shoot film in the camera, you spend a lot of money to do all that, to get a certain look, which is less dynamic range, and there is a look, and the films are biased to, to certain things. For example, uh, Portra 400 film used to be biased to kind of give warmer flesh tones and uh, greener greens and blues and so forth. And, and that's all fine, but you know, I, I, I don't get why you want to lose details in the shadows and burn out your highlights when they're completely recoverable on the digital side of things. And of course, people tell me, well, it looks like film. Well, you know something? If you want something that looks like film, you can get a Fuji camera, and ha Fuji camera has all the Fuji films built into it, so you can get the Fuji film look just by switching to a film look. And there are tons of presets out there that allow you to take your images and make them look like film if that's what you want. But at least at that starting point, you've got the ability to control your open shadows and opening your shadows and closing your highlights. And you know you have some control that you have in digital and make a finer image. And of course, in my opinion, you have better optics, better autofocus, and a number of other things. So, you know, call me old fashioned. <laughs> really, if I was old fashioned, I would think I would be back on film. But to tell you the truth, I've had enough of film. You know, film did a good job. I enjoy it. I respect the people that want to go into it and play with it. I, I remember the darkroom days, like some of the best times in my life, but no thank you. It's not where I want to be. I'd much rather be with my Sony a7R 4 or A1 with a good set of lenses, or even my iPhone for that fact. And, you know, shoot good pictures wherever I want without having to worry about running out of film, worrying about whether I did put film in there, worrying about, oh my God, this is going so well and I'm about two exposures left means I got to rewind the film and reload the film before I can continue. Or I might be shooting just 15 pictures and have to shoot it on a 36 exposure roll and waste half a roll of film. It just doesn't make sense, okay? Um, I, 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 I don't get it. And if somebody can help me understand it more, you know, please put some comments in the forum. Are any of you guys shooting film? Do any of you really like what you're getting on film? You know, isn't there you know, a way that we can shoot digitally and still get that film look with all the advantages? Uh, I can go f and convert to black and white. Uh, I can add toning. I can change the contrast levels. I can do all sorts of things in digital. It's the greatest tool that we've ever had as photographers. It's a golden age in photography and there's so much we can do, but going back to film is not where it's at for me. 
Uh, so that's just not going to happen. The cost alone, especially when you consider uh, shooting a lot of pictures, is pretty outrageous. So uh, I much rather invest that money into some good digital camera systems and lenses and whatnot and go from there. And um, tomorrow, you know, we'll talk about this camera, you know, the new iPhone. I'm going to talk to you about, I will place my new order tomorrow and even the film simulations that are inside this camera. Anyway, that's just my rambling thoughts for today. I want to thank you for listening. As always, thanks for being part of the PhotoPXL family. I'll see you tomorrow.